Uh, well, if somebody asked me what, what is it like living with a heat pump, um, I would say it's actually very comfortable, very easy. You don't have to do much. You know, the heat pump just provides heat and it does it at much lower emissions. Heat pumps are seen as a critical technology for decarbonising our heating. They run on electricity, but their real selling point is that for every unit of electricity that you put into them, they put more heat energy than that into your house. But we have to get a move on with this. The UK's Committee on Climate Change recommends that by 2030, we need to be installing a million of these heat pumps every year in the UK to meet our net zero goals. So we've got a lot of work to do. So let's get stuck in straight away into understanding how heat pumps work and why they're such a cool idea. What a heat pump does is it uses electricity to move heat from the environment, so from the air in the case of air source heat pumps or from the ground in the case of ground source heat pumps or in, potentially in the case of water source heat pumps from rivers and lakes and streams. It moves the heat from the environment um, into a building so it can be used for hot water um, or for heating. Did you have to do a lot of things to your house to, to put this in? So when we bought the house in 2014, we had a gas boiler and the transition to the heat pump really was triggered by building an extension where we had lots of disruption anyway. You know, we had building works going on and that was the point when we thought now is the time to replace the gas boiler with, with the heat pump. Uh, the heat pump install actually just took about a day and a half. Um, so it was fairly quick uh, and it wasn't that disruptive at all because we already you know, had all this building work going on anyway, and just another day and a half wasn't a big deal for us. Now, uh, for, for air source heat pumps, they can be more easy to install. So you don't need to have any ground arrays, you don't need boreholes, anything like that. Um, you can put them on the side of a building, on top of a building potentially, uh, on the ground near a building, and um, plumb them in, um, and much like a gas boiler, you have a flow and return, which gives you hot water out one pipe and you have the, the cold going back to it. Um, for, for ground source heat pumps, it is a bit more complicated. So you need to have some ground works to do with the system because it's extracting heat from the ground. Uh, so you might have a slinky type system dug into the garden, um, or you might have deep bore wells. Obviously that's more expensive than an air source heat pump. Um, but the benefit of ground source heat pumps is they tend to be a bit more efficient than air source heat pumps. So with a ground source heat pump, you get more energy out than you put in um, compared to an air source heat pump. It's not a huge difference, um, but if you have a big building or a bigger house, uh, it can make sense to think about ground source rather than air source. Why did you choose an air source heat pump rather than the ground source heat pump? So I would have liked an, a ground source heat pump um, for the simple reason that it's it's even more efficient than an air source heat pump. The main reason why we did not have a ground source heat pump is access um, for the drilling equipment. You, know, you need to drill a deep hole or have a big garden space. Um, you know, we don't have a big garden um, and we couldn't get in the equipment to drill a very deep hole in the garden. So that was the main reason why a ground source heat pump just wasn't an option for us. And uh, what does the heat pump connect to? So the heat pump connects to a hot water tank, which is um, in the cupboard behind me, uh, and all the radiators that are installed in the bedrooms, in the living um, area, and the underfloor heating system underneath us, um, which provides the, um, the heat in the kitchen. There's, there's no other fuel that's being used. People often ask me, do you still have a gas boiler for hot water? No, there's just the heat pump for all of our heat. So what is it like to live with? So living with an air source heat pump is quite a different experience compared to a gas boiler. You know, the main difference is that it's quite a passive experience. You don't need to interact with it much. You just let the technology do its thing. You know, it's a smart software behind it um, that does everything for you to provide the heat that you want. Uh, the main thing is to kind of think about what temperature do you want, when do you want it, and you can set it in that way, and then the heat pump will generate that. Heat pumps are widely seen as a really important future technology, not just for the UK, but around the world as a means of getting heat because they can run on renewable and low carbon electricity um, and because they take a, a huge proportion of the heat that they actually put into a house or a building from the environment. That means that they can be naturally low carbon 
um, sustainable and renewable, all of the good things. So for the UK, we currently rely on about 90% of um, on fossil fuels for our heating so 85% of homes are connected to the gas grid roughly about another million um, have oil heating if we want to get to our net zero goals by 2050 so the, as a country we've got the target to get to net zero by 2050 to do that we've got to replace all of that oil and gas heating with something else all of these millions of different heating systems have to be replaced we know that heat pumps are a key option to do that there aren't many technologies that you can actually use to produce low carbon heat um, and repeatedly heat pumps um, have been seen and, and shown to be a cost-effective way of doing that. And what is the difference in energy like before and afterwards? So the reduction in energy use has been fairly significant. <clears throat> it's about 60%. So we used about 15,000 kilowatt hours uh, per year. That is both gas and electricity. Um, and now it's about 6,000 um, kilowatt hours per year. So a significant reduction that we achieved just by switching out the heating system. And mind you, we also made the property bigger you know we added all this kitchen space we had a loft conversion done as well so we we probably almost doubled the living space and still had that significant drop in energy use so when you meet someone at a party or on the street and you tell them you've got a heat pump or they find out like what do you tell them it's it certainly is something that more and more people i think are, are aware of and and i happily show them around and and talk them through it and explain the journey which is it's not so straightforward you know if you've never done it um where do you start how did you find out what to do you know in just was it was it easy who did you ask so the way i went about um trying to find you know the right installer for, for the heat pump was that i went uh, onto google because i didn't know anyone who actually installed heat pumps or had a heat pump in oxford so um what i did is to go onto one website which is called uh, ugen.gov which um, i think is a government funded website which is basically a um, registry of installers of low carbon heating technologies but also solar panels and things like that and you can see reviews there's another website the mca website which is a, again a registry of installers where you can find installers in your area uh, and using both sources I then worked out what the best installers might be and got three quotes in order to compare and, and, and see who's, who might be the best best option for us. So if you're worried that your house is inefficient sort out the efficiency in the first place no heating system is going to be working at its best in an inefficient house uh, and your bills will be higher um, so if you have a gas boiler in an inefficient house not only will it be running at high temperatures meaning it's probably not condensing um, your bills will also naturally be high because your house is leaking loads of heat in the first place so there's a huge role for energy efficiency in general um, in the uk compared to very similar EU nations, we're doing really badly on energy efficiency um, and that's got to be part of the same program as we do the rollout of heat pumps. However, uh, there I know of houses that have solid walls and are uninsulated and have single glazed windows with heat pumps. It's possible, you just need to make sure that the system is again sized correctly, so you need to make sure your heat pumps big enough for the job um, and you need to make sure that your radiators are suitable for the job as well. But if you want to have a really cosy house um, that is cheap to run, do the energy efficiency as well. It's a total no-brainer. And what do you think the world needs to know about heat pumps? So the, the way I feel about having the heat pump is that I want other people to see that it's it's not rocket science. You know, heat pumps um, you know, are just another technology that provide you with warmth. It's, it's actually very simple technology. It's been around for years. Um, so I feel very good about having one, especially in an old building like this one, where a lot of people say, oh, you can possibly heat a Victorian terrace with a heat pump. Well, we've done that for the last three years and um, we're very happy with it. I think the main benefit of having a heat pump is knowing that you know, we're not burning fossil fuels anymore. Um, it's protection against future price rises, you know, we've just seen with the war in Ukraine. Um, so it just makes me feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing my part, but I'm also less exposed to expensive fossil fuel prices.